So I did a little experiment cycling today. Yeah, I'm the man with two watches, but I also wore my two rings. Uh, I normally wear this one on my thumb, and then I wear this one on my right middle finger, and then this is the Aura Ring 2.0. This one doesn't do workouts, but these two. So I switched them today, put this one right there, and that one right there, put on my cycling gloves, and I just pedaled away and I did the workouts. Let's see what happened with the two workouts and see how the data compared to smartwatch data. So these were the two primary watches I wore today while cycling, the Amazfit T-Rex 2 and the Garmin Venue 2 Plus, or as my son calls it, the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. Here we go. Oh wait, that didn't, that didn't work. Here, let's try. And then because they're in workout mode, they're blow they're both they are both glowing. So we have Aura 3.0 versus Aura 3.0. This is the slate one that is well, it's it's slate. And this is the silver one. And they're both 3.0 technology. The way you can tell is they have more sensors, they show the lights. Whereas the older 2.0 Aura rings, you can't see the lights and they have less sensors. So we'll put that back on. Hour and 42, I haven't been cycling the whole time. I actually had to do some work stuff, yeah. So we hit pause. Now one thing to point out, there's no heart rate. So while you're working out, you just focus on your cycling. You can't see your heart rate through the app. There's not a way to like just close this and go back and check your heart rate. Kind of a bummer because you could mount your phone on your handlebars and then check your heart rate or check your speed. They could, you know, kind of connect through the phone and get your GPS and all that stuff, but instead they don't do that. So now we'll end the workout. And on the Samsung phone, that's the one connected to the slate or ring. And on my iPhone, I have that connected to the silver Oura ring. And end workout. Let's see how close they are. 749 calories, 751. Speed, 6.1. Intensity, moderate. And for some reason, this one on Android does not have the GPS. Don't know why that is, because I gave it authorization to use GPS. So no map data, but they both have intensity. And then this one has all my laps, so that's kind of cool. Mile one, nine, 16.4, all that info. Let me analyze this real quickly. Quite the comparison of data, in case you uh, fast forwarded the this is the Galaxy Z Flip 3, and that's connected to my Slate Ring. This is the Apple iPhone 12, that's connected to my Silver Ring. Both of these are the 3.0. This is my 2.0, so what about cycling with this one? We'll get to that soon. When we look at these activities, they're quite different. Right here, you can see the workout areas, so it documents that, that's nice. And we can go to Expanded View. Restorative time, for some reason, we haven't gotten enough yet. Sleeping heart rate, really close. Workouts, that's where it differs, right? Your workout heart rate range, insight, how you doing? Okay, sounds good. And they're both saying the same thing, but a little different. So now we go to the activity. For one reason or another, a lot less data captured by Android. So no distance, no speed. I don't know why the minimum heart rate was different and so was the maximum. When you're wearing them on your index fingers, so again, this one was on my right index and this one was on my left. So again, left, left, right, right. This is like one of the best fingers to wear the Aura Ring or any smart ring on. But yeah, the calories close, duration, yeah, same because I started and stopped them at the same time. This one gets a map from my phone, this one doesn't. The calories within two, the average heart rate was the same, but that max heart rate, 157, that's about right when I was going up a big hill, but this one said the max was only 127. That's really off. And I made sure to adjust them because Aura asks you and recommends that you wear the ring with the sensors underneath your skin. So this needs to point up. And that's the way they were during the ride. I don't know, does not make sense 
at all. But what we can determine from this is that you get a better workout for cycling and running if you have your Oura Ring connected to an iPhone and not an Android phone. Hmm. Why is that? Now the layout's about identical for the most part. You can click on the plus right here. You can get the guided session. You can, well, for some reason they change the order. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's uh, bad programming. They should be the same. So you can add tags, unguided session, record a workout, or right here, you can record an HR workout and you have just five choices. And they changed the workout. That's so, that's bad software organization aura. You need to fix that. So we have indoor cycling, indoor running, outdoor cycling, outdoor running and walking, outdoor running, indoor running, outdoor cycling, indoor cycling, and walking. And when you do walking, it's not going to do GPS. Ah, well, but overall, calories are about the same. The steps were about the same through cycling. Don't ask me why they're off now, but right here I documented earlier, 5,000 and change on the slate one, and just barely over 5,000 on the silver one. Whereas Apple Watch, only 1,089 steps, and my Garmin watch, this Venue 2 Plus, recorded 1,166 steps. Leads us to the question, which operating system for some phones does the Aura Ring company favor? Do they favor Apple or Android? The answer is, anyone? They favor Apple by far. The Apple app or anyone who had their Aura Ring 3 paired with an iPhone and seven Android phone, they got the uh, record workout HR with GPS and the other options, those five workouts that I showed you earlier, those right there, the, that's all you get. No swimming, nothing else. I, I'll have to check my notes and I'll do a follow-up on this later, but I thought they promised us more workouts in that. So if you want to upgrade, or if you just want to buy an Aura Ring you know, for the first time, and you're really looking forward to those workouts. If you have an Android watch, you might be slightly disappointed. Sorry, if you have an Android phone connected to your Oura Ring, you might be slightly disappointed. And if you have no other means of recording data and that's your workout, you might be better off buying another device. You can get entry level, <clears throat> you can get entry level Garmin watches for just a couple hundred dollars and you're gonna get a really good detailed report and really good analytics from your workouts. Oura Ring is not quite there yet. Sorry to disappoint. The good news is I'm not sponsored by Oura Ring, so I'm not gonna lose my sponsorship by telling you that. I'm not gonna tell you not to buy an Oura Ring. I really like them. Don't buy three, that's, that's uh, over the top. If I didn't have the whole social media thing and my YouTube channel and the Facebook page and Twitter and Instagram, I probably wouldn't have bought more than one. I really like the sleep data. I really like in the morning, you know, it gave me a readiness score of 78. So yeah, and that's why I did a 10 mile bike ride instead of 20. And it says breaks help your focus. Your day looks pretty nice. Readiness wise, what's your schedule like for today? So that's kind of a quick little overview that it tells you each morning. I find that useful. And when you've got a really, really crappy night's sleep or lots of alarms, earlier a few days, well, last week, it gave me a readiness score of 67. So I took it easy that day. That's really helpful. Now to give the overall honest big health picture yes it had to have workouts the other way to do it though is if you have an apple watch you can wear your apple watch and do the workouts and not worry about recording anything on your aura ring and then the apple watch workouts go directly to the app and that works quite well i'll do another video on that because that's that's going to take many minutes to explain it's seamless once you connect them it just works and then all the exercise data and your activity 
goes into the app and that reflects on your readiness score and your activity score for the day and then you don't have to worry so much. Now funny enough, even though I was wearing both of those rings, the activity score on the slate was 98, whereas the activity score on the silver one was 79. That's a huge difference. And they both had all the data, so ah, I don't know, a bit confusing. Do I recommend the Aura Ring? Yes. For workouts, not so much. <laughs> they have more work to do. And, and who knows, maybe in the months to come, they'll do some more updates. Now the integration from Samsung, if you do love Android and you can't switch to Apple, they do have some Wear OS integration. I couldn't get that to work. Now I'm showing you the OnePlus phone because I'm filming on my Samsung Z Flip 3. Whether it's a Samsung or a OnePlus or an LG, it's gonna be about the same. Uh, I did some online reading and I'm not really seeing a big difference between one Android or another, but certainly the integration between your Aura Ring and an Apple iPhone, much better. So let me know your thoughts. Was this a good test? And this was the third or fourth time that I've done this. The data is about the same. Each and every time the ring that I have connected to my iPhone gives me better results than the one with my Android phone. And yes, you get way more steps while cycling because when you're holding those handlebars, you get all that road vibrations. Pithy comments, type those down below and I'll have another video sometime in the next week. And yes, I am the man with two watches. My name's Pietro. You can also check out my other channel right, right there in the background, Gadgets Anonymous with Peter Herkett. But I like to focus this channel just on watches and rings because I'm the man with two watches and the, wa and the man with three rings. Well, technically four. So are you going to buy one of these? Let me know. Thanks for watching. And... See you real soon. Goodbye.